Anne Hathaway, the star actress who's the recipient of many awards, including an Academy Award, Primetime Emmy Award, and a Golden Globe, is also one of the highest paid actresses in the entertainment industry. Her films have grossed over $6.8 billion globally, which has led her to some pretty luxurious real estate. Hathaway previously owned a mansion in Westport, Connecticut, which she sold in 2018 for $2.7 million. Currently, Hathaway and her husband Adam Showman have a pair of luxurious spots, including an enchanting California country home and a penthouse that's just steps away from Central Park. We'll I'll take a look at the former home of Anne Hathaway, plus their historic Swiss chalet style residence, a home that was originally built in 1906, but rebuilt after a fire in 1917. In addition, her New York City penthouse suite is situated on the top floor of an old mansion constructed more than 100 years ago. This is a house tour you don't want to miss. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Anne Hathaway is an American actress and singer who has been able to garner a net worth of $60 million. She has become one of the highest paid female actresses and has crushed it in the box office as her films have grossed almost $7 billion worldwide. Hathaway has a knack for picking out incredible films to star in, and her roles are often well received by critics. Although she began her career on the stage as a theater actress, she is now one of the most famous women in Hollywood. Hathaway has established herself as a high earning actress pretty much right from the beginning. For one of her early breakout roles in The Princess Diaries, she commanded a salary of $400,000. 2005, she was paid double that amount for her role in Brokeback Mountain, earning a sum of $800,000. When she booked a central role in The Devil Wears Prada the next year, she was able to break the seven figure mark for the first time, taking home a total of $1 million for her performance. Although her role in Get Smart didn't blow critics away, it still resulted in a serious payday of $5 million for Hathaway in 2008. She earned that same amount a year later for her role in Bride Wars. When she appeared in The Dark Knight, Night Rises as Catwoman in 2012, she took home a career best salary of $7.5 million. That year, she also achieved an eight figure salary for the first time when she earned $10 million for role in Les Miserables. Save some for the rest of us. As a result of her career earnings skyrocketing, Hathaway has managed to snag some pretty luxurious properties. In 2018, Anne decided to sell her home in Connecticut for $2.7 million, and in 2020, it was reported that Anne Hathaway was selling her apartment in New York City with an asking price of $3.5 million. From her perch atop the city, Hathaway was able to catch stunning views of Central Park. She purchased this penthouse just four years prior in 2016 for a sum of $2.55 million. Hey guys, it's Karen today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I noticed 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell because we post a new video daily. Today we'll be looking at the homes of, you guessed it, Anne Hathaway, and she's lived in some awesome spots. We've also done house tours on the likes of Sarah Jessica Parker and Kristen Stewart, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Hathaway's stunning Westport, Connecticut mansion was truly a thing of beauty. This home combines European sophistication with a beach cottage and boasts beautiful outdoor gardens. Perfectly located, this private oasis steps from Compo Beach and Longshore Golf and Beach Club for those that fancy a dip or some golf. Tucked away at the end of a Belgian block style cobblestone driveway and roughly one acre of land, this 1920 home is renovated throughout to give the home its highest standards. The first floor consists of an oversized custom kitchen and great room room with AGA range and fireplace. The formal dining room features a stone fireplace leading to a terrace that comes complete with a Viking outdoor kitchen. In addition, the abode features a living room with French doors to the ornamental English gardens, a family room and custom laundry room. There's even a second kitchen decked out in all the modern stainless steel appliances that leads to the pool. The second floor has two wings with five bedrooms which include an elegant master suite with an oversized private redwood deck overlooking the lush gardens. And if you turn your head a little further, you will notice the enormous pool that is surrounded by a 1518 square foot barn and cabana. In 2020, it was reported that Anne Hathaway was selling her apartment in New York City with an asking price of $3.5 million. However, one thing Anne is good at eyeing with her real estate portfolio are historic homes. This penthouse suite is located at the top floor of an old mansion constructed more than 100 years ago. Guests lucky enough to visit can relax on her porch and enjoy the most stunning views of Central Park. The spot is also just steps away from the park. It's all about location. This picturesque two bedroom penthouse and its coveted south facing terrace 
Paris recently underwent quite the renovation. The home was redesigned by Gramercy, designed to utilize every square inch, replicate original and period moldings, and integrate all the modern conveniences. Well done, gang. All of the windows are now oversized French windows, and the white oak floors are in a classic pattern. In order to enter the penthouse, you must do so with a private key locked elevator, which opens to a grand entrance, original sweeping staircase, and intimate elevator for those that don't feel like taking the stairs. In addition, the entrance features an elegant gallery, leading to the open plan living, dining, and kitchen areas. This state of the art kitchen boasts 18 foot ceilings with a skylight, an elegant cabinet, appliances for a meal, and a 30 inch electric range. This dig is a perfect space for entertaining as the light filled living room features a fireplace and opens to the terrace, an outdoor luxury that offers indoor outdoor living. This terrace features dining space for up to eight, a luxurious kitchen area for lounging, integrated lighting, audio and irrigation, and breathtaking views of the city landmarks. In the home's private wing, the sunlit master suite features a skylight with electric shades, a walk-in closet, and bath with a freestanding tub. The well-proportioned second bedroom is accompanied by a full bath decked out in Aurora blue marble. Other highlights include the three zone central air heated floors in every bathroom and top of the line washer and dryer. In addition, there are private storage spaces within the home. Not too shabby. In addition to Anne's luxurious home in New York, Hathaway and her husband Adam Schulman snagged a luxurious historic California country home that features an abundance of customs, including contemporary and vintage furnishings. Continuing her theme of historic homes, the two purchased an enchanting 1906 Swiss chalet style residence, which was destroyed by a fire in 1917 and rebuilt. The home is decked out with custom furnishings for the wood panel den, a 1940s Turkish rug and vintage armchair, and Tom Green light fixture. But I wonder what a Tom Green light fixture is. Ooh, you can't hurt me! Not with my cheese helmet! Anyways, the home features a music room, originally designed as a dance hall for young people from the surrounding community. Crowned with an early 20th century disco ball from a Turkish spa, the space hosts a piano, a sparkly monogold table, and a broad array of cozy seating. The kitchen features a long, slender island which is decked out in soothing shades of robin's egg blue and pale green. The kitchen opens directly to a dreamy breakfast room detailed with a scenic wallpaper, which provides a unique spot for guests to enjoy their meals. The master bedroom features a custom pink paint with custom oak wood bed and features elegant painting and unique antiques. Anne's home features an abundance of fireplaces, including one in the living space that also offers vintage seating and oversized windows, giving the room an airy feel. The stone terrace features an additional massive fireplace, 18th century cocktail table, lantern, and the most breathtaking views of the California countryside. The kitchen features vintage copper lights, marble countertops, and an elegant kitchen island perfectly centered in the room. While the previous two homes were impressive, this custom home gives off the most classy vibes. All right, so I think I'll bring this house to an end here. We got to take a quick look at Anne Hathaway's homes and that custom California country spot. After seeing that fancy little abode she snagged, what did you think? Was it everything you would expect out of Hathaway? Personally, I was a huge fan of the New York City apartment. I mean, your own pad steps away from Central Park doesn't get much better than that. But it was hard to choose between that and her current place in California. Out of Hathaway's properties, which was your fave? You guys can even go ahead and rate them in the comments down below. Be sure to like and subscribe to my personal channel to get to know me better. Better. I love chatting with you guys over there. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.